How do you take your file from Vetrix software and get it into your CNC machine? Let me show you how I do it. Here we are in VCarve Pro and I have my design all made. It's all drawn out. I have all the tool paths done here. So what we want to do is we want to figure out how do we get all these tool paths into our CNC machine? Well, I have the Onefinity. What I do, there's two different ways. My favorite way is to use a thumb drive like this. It just slides up, pops in its USB, pops right into the machine, pops into my computer, works great. Um, a few caveats about this. Uh, it needs to be, an, what is it, NTSF, or it needs to be a FAT32, and you can't have it larger than 32 gigabytes because anything larger than that doesn't play very well with the Raspberry Pi, the Onefinity. If you have a different CNC machine, probably work fine. Let me show you how this works. So step one, make sure all your tool paths are highlighted. So we are, we're right here. You make sure they're all highlighted. You can see them on your drawing here. They are, they're all highlighted. Now we want to go right here to save tool path. Click on save tool path. Now, depending on your project, you can group them where you want or, or not. You can do them as, you know, you can pick one of the tool paths. You can do all of them in one group. Um, but I like to do visible tool paths as multiple files. I like to use this one right here. Um, I group them sometimes, but not often. So I'm not gonna group them. And then you gotta make sure you got your machine selected. Make sure you have your post processor. What we want to do next is you just want to do save toolpath. So it pops open a place to save. What you want to do is you want to go over the side here. You want to click on your thumb drive. I'm calling this one sale sign. Sale sign's right here. It's going to save the type as a .ngc for my machine. Uh, that's what my G code here is called. So I'm going to save it. And now it's saved to my thumb drive. So if I bring my thumb drive over, let me, let me pop open my thumb drive. This is my thumb drive right here. Sale sign. It saved all those tool paths right in here. They're all saved. Uh, and that's exactly what we want. My second favorite way to save the tool paths is again, everything's highlighted like it was for the thumb drive. And I'm going to go right to save tool path. And it's going to pull up on my local drive here on this computer. I have a file set up called sale sign. And I'm going to save it right there and save. So when we get rid of this and I pull up that file, you can see it saved all of those tool paths just like it did on the thumb drive. I have all of them saved there. All right, so what we can do now is here we are in the interface for the Onefinity, and I can go right here, let me get my head out of the way, right here, and this is to download, and I can download right from my computer. I set it up so that I can go right to my drive, right to the file that I have them in. I can say, okay, I wanna select this first file. I click on it. And I go right down to open down here and there it is it loaded it so if I go when I go up to my shop to the Onefinity machine this file will be loaded in there I can do that for each one I can go here I can go okay now I want to load this one in and I'll hit open and and now I can go here I can add in outside cutout I can add all of those into here so when I do this drop down I click on the drop down right here it shows them all and I know what order to cut them in because it says one, sign one, sale sign two, sale sign three. I know what order I'm cutting them in. doesn't matter what I load them in. I just need to remember which one I'm on. So if I do sale one and as soon as I'm done with that one, just to save myself a headache, I always just delete it. And I, I don't hit all. I just hit the one that's there. So I delete that one. But look, I'll never do one again. I'll never have to worry about accidentally repeating the same cut. So number two and then that and then when that one's done i'll delete it i do select it it pops in three so you can do that with all of those files load them all in at once so when you go out to the machine they're ready to go um otherwise if you're bringing your computer or you have your computer by your machine you can do them one at a time whatever works for you but that's how you load them here we are at the machine so i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to hit the load button and then i'm going to load first the tool path i want it loads in and it's ready to cut. If you're not sure which thumb drive to get, I'll leave one in the description below. 
Uh, otherwise, hopefully this helped you out and go be great.